everybody it's the 8th of January 2024 my first ride of the year up the Lamberis Pass let's see if anything exciting happens probably won't It's ages since I've been out on the uh, bullet, so I'm giving it a bit of a run today. I don't know if you can hear me, there's a lot of wind noise. At this point the camera backed up. It said there was no battery. <clears throat> this was swiftly followed by a low flying helicopter to the right of the screen all the way up the pass ahead of me. It was just like brilliantly cinematic and I captured none of it. I was absolutely gutted. Not a good start. Still, hopefully you'll now be able to join me as we hit the Denby Moors. Lovely day for a ride in freezing conditions. I'm not quite sure why it is that the camera decided it didn't want to play ball because it was all pam wired in, plumbed in I was going to say, uh, it was all wired in through a power bank. For some reason it just didn't seem to be uh, taking the charge. Which is a bit ironic because I swapped over to my GoPro and yeah, it was running off the uh, power bank. They will run together but for some reason it didn't on this occasion. So I've swapped over to the GoPro at this point. This is the Evo Triangle, we are climbing up the Evo Triangle. It's January 2024 as I said and for those of you that don't know the Evo Triangle was named by uh, Evo magazine in the UK and they used it for testing their high level sports cars and they chose it because it gave a nice variety of some straight roads and some nice sweeping bends and good views and they could have a damn good thrash. The problem with that came when lots of people found out where the Evo Triangle was. Now, as you can see today, it's a lovely sunny day, but if you look at the, um, the grass banks either side of the road, you'll keep seeing signs of frost and ice. And in fact, you'll actually see it somewhere on the road as well as we go through. So yes, yeah, so lots of people came up here and it was a bit of a racetrack, if I'm honest. And uh, Pete is well known for uh, motor clubs to come up en masse and really enjoy themselves. Now, that would be alright if you've got an Austin 7, but we're not talking Austin 7s, we're talking Porsches, we're talking Aston Martins, we are talking Ferraris, Lamborghinis, uh, Paganis even. We're talking all the, you know, Subarus the Mitsubishi Evos, the Lotuses or Lotai, whatever you want to call it. You name it, if it was a fast car, it was up here. Now, if it was good enough for the fast cars, it was good enough for the bikes as well. So, tons of bikers have been up here as well. Sadly, that has led to some really nasty accidents, some really serious problems, and inevitably, as much as I don't like to say it, it involves in people going home either missing large bits of their bodies or just going home sadly deceased. So the road itself has got a bit of a reputation. You can see why, I mean it's just fantastic to ride, it really is. Um, so yeah, so the Evo Triangle is where it's got its name. As you can see I'm having a decent ride on it it's uh, now average speed limited all the way through down to 60 
So the bullet should be able to just about keep under that. You just see some more rice on the right, can't you? So it just gives you a feel for the fact it was cold. Now the observant amongst you might be wondering how warm I was. As you can see, I'm wearing the Risha torch gloves and you can see all the white stuff on the sides of the road and you're thinking, oh, I wonder what temperatures Great City grips up to because in the past he said these aren't pucker winter gloves. They're probably three season rather than four. And uh, I don't run heated grips on the bullet. So I was riding just like that. Oh, look, there's some of the average speed camera on the right hand side just past it. And so, yeah, so I was riding with that. I'll let you know a little bit more about my thoughts about those in a moment because we're coming to an interesting place here. As we come around the corner, we'll be then bending to the right, and you can see there's a building ahead of us. And that building is the Sportsman's Arms, the highest pub in Wales. Uh, those of you that read Adventure Bike Rider magazine, there was a past um, edition, whatever you want to call it, uh, of, of that magazine had uh, two of the three biggest, or three highest pubs in mainland Great Britain. And so, uh, yeah, that was featured as one of them. And the reason I mention that is do be careful if you do decide to go there. Oh, there's a lot of grit on that road. and Oh, look, some ice, lovely. Um, TKC80's gone through that well. Uh, yeah, do be careful if you're going to choose to go into the pub. It has have limited opening hours. And so just as a forewarning for you. Now, the Evo Triangle goes off to the right. We're going to carry straight on towards Denby. Now, for those of you that are interested, there's quite a nice lane up here on the left. Uh, it's actually the second lane that I like off on the left. One, I've, nev I've never videoed either of these. Um, the first one goes past some clins and some really fantastic countryside. This next one is a bit of a shortcut down to Borchai. Uh, that one there on the left, uh, and that's really good. I must take you down there sometime, and I will do. Um, where are we? Yeah, so, yeah, I'm not worrying it, running any heated grips. People say they are a must in winter, but they're only a must if you're going to ride. And to be honest, I could have been putting winter gloves on, proper winter gloves. Why didn't I? You must be thinking I'm mad. Well, the reason I didn't put them on is that they are very bulky. I've got some nice warm winter gloves, but they are very bulky and they do make my fingers ache a bit. And at the moment, I decided I'd see how I get on. And if it's really bad, I'd buy some new cold weather gloves when I got down to um, A&D motorcycles. As it was, didn't feel the need. So that yeah, says a lot. And I hadn't even got my Alpine Stars silk liners in. Not Alpine Stars, Halverson's. God, my memory's going. Really recommend those. They're about 13 quid. Slip them on and then put your main gloves on. You barely feel them and they really keep you nice and toasty. So while we're here, I just want to draw this to your attention. A 30 speed limit. So there you go. Just to prove to you that all these people won't keep waffling on about some blanket 20 mile an hour speed limit. They're talking completely and utter um, rubbish. Uh, but there you go. Um, coming up was an interesting sign actually. Um, for those of you that might be interested, if you're in the market for a new pet, um, just keep your eyes peeled. Left hand side of the road. Uh, coming up, I think it's at the top of this hill actually. I could be wrong. Oh no, no, it's coming up here. Keep your eyes peeled on the left. Here we go, be quite square. Limo bulls for sale. Now, I think they mean limousin, um, but all I could think of was limousine. And uh, I just couldn't help but laugh at the thought of a bull with a body that's about 13 for extra long length in it and yeah would it sag in the middle anyway that was just my infantile thinking so yeah how did those gloves perform bearing in mind it's about freezing just above freezing i wasn't hot 
I would never just say they were warm and toasty. I wasn't perfectly comfortable, but I was okay. Certainly didn't get any numbness, I was just cold. So for a glove that I wouldn't call a proper winter glove, it did surprisingly well. So thumbs up to me for the Risha, Risha torch gloves. It's performed better than I expected. Anyway, here's a thing. Let has been rattling my brains for the last couple of weeks, really getting on my nerves. It's been car adverts. You see so much advertising of cars at the moment on telly. And yet when you want to buy one you can't get what you want because they haven't got any but they're still advertising them. Well you can only get what we've got etc etc. And then they try and tell you the car's wonderful but they don't actually tell you why it's wonderful. It's just great because it's got an electric tailgate or some other such weight adding unnecessary complexity. But in the adverts Look for the number plates, and if you're like me and a bit sad, you'll spot the number plates are always symmetrical, uh, so that they, the letters can be reversed. Uh, this is Denby, by the way, so it just makes the TV advertising slightly cheaper for them, so they can make it look like you're driving on the left or on the right. Hey presto, the car number plate will always be readable. Uh, a bit sad. This is Denby, uh, town centre. I just thought I'd run that through just so you can get a look for it. It's quite a pretty little place, is Denby. Uh, this is, of course, is all this sort of area we've been riding on. This is all sort of the hunting ground of Myers Motorcycle Adventures and Dick Whistles. So uh, I did keep an eye open for people, but I didn't really see many people about that day. Probably because, you know, only an idiot would be out. Anyway, so that's the first run out for the bullet for 2024. It's now got TKC80's front and rear. How did it handle it? Really surprisingly well. I wasn't looking forward to it. Returning back, it was colder and it was a bit icy. There were a couple of very, very small twitches. and it, it, But it wasn't anything to be concerned about. I was really shocked at just how well they performed on tarmac. So top marks for them too. Sorry it's not the greatest of videos, but I just wanted to give the bullet a bit of an airing and I hope you've enjoyed just seeing what Wales is like in the middle of winter. Ride safe, look after yourselves and I'll see you in the next one. Bye for now.